So I'm driving, but I want to come on here and share what happened to me today. So what is, what is it giving me a new route? Hold on. So do you guys remember a few weeks ago when I had told you I had discovered this amazing nail place and how it's like a place where they do Russian manicures and it's amazing and la 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 and I'm just I'm gonna keep going back to that place? Well, listen to this. So Chloe just got back in town and she always has her nails done really nice all the time and never really needs them done, but she needed her toes done. So I told her about this place. I'm like, well, come with me today to the place I've been telling you about, the Russian manicure place. Like, it's good, it's good. So we were excited to go. I set the appointment for 310. Right? I called the lady back and I made sure I'm like, I'm gonna get there early. My sister has something right before, so she might be a few minutes late. Is that okay? And she told me, of course, that's okay. You know, 15, 20 minutes late is okay. Mind you, I'm thinking the appointment is at 3 10. So I get there early, like at 3, they start taking off my gel X, everything's going well, I'm getting excited. My sister's coming, I'm like, ooh, I can't wait for her to relax and everything have a good time too. So I get there and immediately, like, the lady starts saying, uh, where's your sister? You need to check her in. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, oh, she's on her way. I told you, like, she was gonna be a few minutes late. She's on her way though. How long? How long? Because she has, we have back to backs, back to backs. Mind you, no one is in this place. It's empty. There's like one girl getting her nails done and no one else is in there but me. I'm like, okay. She said she's like nine minutes away. And then she like started giving me faces. Like nine minutes isn't going to work. So I'm slowly, but surely starting to get a little bit early, starting to get a little bit irritated because I'm like, wait a minute. Like I have been a consistent customer here for the past few weeks. I brought like them so many people, my glam team goes there now to get their nails done. Like I have really brought them a lot of customers and I just can't believe that they're acting this way over nine minutes so I start getting frustrated right and the Aries and me I'm trying not to turn up like that and I'm just like you know what how we just breathe just breathe Chloe will be here soon it's gonna be okay she keeps going keeps going at me talking about well then she finally goes I'm sorry but we're gonna have to cancel her she can't get hers done today while I'm in the chair already and then I start saying excuse me ma'am um literally like I have been here I told you that she was gonna be late on the phone already before I got before we set the appointment and now you're telling me when my sister is five minutes away now that she's canceled while she's on her way I'm like that's not right like and I've been a consistent customer I've always been on time everything else like you can't just right, like you can't just take the benefit of the doubt and be like you know what this girl has been good like we can wait a few minutes but you're gonna have an attitude with me and try to so I'm starting to get upset and then me and the lady start going back and forth because after all I've been I've been a loyal customer and everything and you're mad about nine minutes and she keeps going at me and so I don't know if you guys know but if you go to these like it's like a Russian it's a Russian manicure place so their English is good but they're like kind of really um how do I explain they're really direct so sometimes some of the things that they say like comes off like it's being rude just because their tone of voice but other times I would just you know not really take it that seriously but this girl she was like literally she walked over to my chair and is arguing with me about this so at this point I'm really upset and we're going back and forth back and forth back and forth and then Chloe walks in and she's like, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to be careful. And I said, you know what? In the middle of my toes being taken off, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. We will just take our business elsewhere. And I get up, my feet still wet, my hands still all powdery. And I'm like, it's okay. Like, no worries. Because I'm not gonna sit, let you tell me that my sister can't get her nails done, but I'm gonna sit here and get my nails done. No, like, no. So I got up and we both got up out of there. And I said, you know what? God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I didn't get attitude as Aries as I could. Chloe said I was still really nice. But I just told her that is unacceptable and rude because I've been a loyal customer. So that really disappointed me. I got so upset, I started crying. Chloe was laughing at me and was like, Allie, it's okay, it's okay. But I got really upset because that's not how you treat people, especially people who bring you customers and are consistent with going there. So I'm never going there again. Am I wrong for thinking that they should at least give me the benefit of the doubt, especially since I was already there and no one was in there? Am I tripping? Like, I know, like, you know, you have to be on time for appointments and stuff, but if you have a loyal customer, like, that's just not the way, being rude is not the way to go about it to me, to me. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping, though, but I don't think I was. Chloe told me I wasn't. So we just ended up going to another place that was close by that was great. They were wonderful and I love the way they did my nails. But yeah, so I was pissed off. I was really upset. I just don't like when I experience stuff like that. Like at least just be nice. And today after this situation, when she basically like, she almost argued with me that why I can't accept her sister and I explained, which is normal, but she didn't understand and I didn't. She said, okay, we are leaving. I said, I'm so sorry, but we can't. Like, we still can continue your service, but not for your sister. Which she said, no need. And she just left. Of course, like, in my experience, like, there is nothing dramatic. There is nothing bad. Like, we wasn't rude. It just refused the service to climb who was late 35 minutes. She posted on popular Instagram pages. She made a video on Snapchat where she was telling half of the stories wasn't true. But somebody for her posted on Instagram. Where's the page? Almost 2 million. She posted, they posted like, go to this business page and write one star reviews, which is okay. But they texting me so bad. Now I get nonstop phone calls from like different, different states. Like first I didn't know what's happening. I started to pick up the phone and people were saying racist, burn on hell, kill yourself. I'm sorry, fuck your business. 
like and I got non-stop this calls non-stop reviews like they banded my all my business pages now I'm now I'm really scared just to go back to work tomorrow in the morning because I'm pregnant you don't know what's gonna happen you know what if I'm gonna go to my work and random people you because you never know she's a popular person and how many thousands of people now texting me calling me what I'm gonna do like I'm just scared I'm just really scared like just because you celebrity and you have million followers you posting about about it's okay if you post about the situation but you posted our pages where it's all information about our business about location about our phone and this is not not just business phone it's my personal phone and like i can't sleep because phone calls calls coming non-stop people texting bad reviews they comment on my all my instagrams they commenting very bad stuff like i'm really scared and just because you're famous i'm really scared about me and my baby